Xin chào, it's that Asian girl and welcome to another video. I want to start out this video by saying I'm so sorry. I know that I promised to put this video up sooner, but in the past week something happened in my life and I needed time to get myself back together and feel like filming again. And that's why it took so long for this video to be put up. I'm so sorry and I hope that I didn't disappoint any of you. Anyways, as you can tell from the title, today's video is about one of my favorite topics ever, which is food. And I'm gonna take you guys on a little trip back to my hometown, which is Hanoi, and take you guys on a little food tour. This video is not any ordinary food tour video though because you guys all know about some famous dishes like bún chả, phở and bánh mì, right? And I don't think it's gonna be that interesting if I still put those dishes in my video. So instead, I chose to go a little bit unconventional and chose some bomas dishes that not a lot of foreigners know about. I will be leaving the names and the information about the dishes down in the description in case you guys want to google for yourself. And if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I also have a Vietnam travel video and if you haven't checked that out, please do. I will leave the link down in the description also. Okay, enough rambling. Please enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, so my driver is here, guys. Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> she <laughs> she want to remain anonymous, so we're gonna respect that. And now we're gonna go. Our first stop is the street food vendor. When I was going to high school, I came around here a lot, and I just knew I had to come back here during this trip. This first dish is a dessert because dessert first always. It's perfect for summer because it's super refreshing. Next, we're gonna have some pillow pie. I think the name comes from its shape. I can actually make this myself. So if you want me to make that video, please let me know out in the comments. The dipping sauce for this dish is made from fish sauce and pickled veggies. This is a dish that I miss the most being away from home. Nam Chu is a juicy mixture of pork deep fried and eaten with hot sauce. By the way, I know this is a food video but you won't see me eating except for this one time because as you can see, it's painfully awkward for me. Now off to our next stop which is also a dessert place. I think if you ever travel to Vietnam during the boiling summer, you'll get why I need these refreshing desserts. After that delicious plan, we are gonna have some delicious things on a stick. I decided to give a shout out to this cafe, not because of the drinks, but because I appreciate their effort with the environment. Oftentimes, not a lot of restaurant and cafe in Vietnam care about what they could do to protect the environment. The cafe is quite small but very cute, and they are using paper straws instead of plastic ones, which obviously is not the best solution since it's single use, but kudos to them for caring. Our next location is Hang Chong Street. This area is famous for their bánh chang chot, which is rice paper mixed with quail eggs, beef and squid jerky, green mango and tamarind sauce. Personally, I like the raw version of it more, and kumquat tea is a perfect drink to top it up with. Now that we had something savory, it's time for that sweet sweet ice cream. If you travel to Hanoi and haven't had that coconutty flavor of Chang Tien ice cream, have you even been here? For me, there's only one place that sells authentic Chang Tien ice cream cones. It's at 35 Chang Tien Street, opposite from Circle K, and it's near the corner of Ngu Quyen and Chang Tien Street. Anywhere else is a no-no. 
At this point, I was so full, but Hanok didn't want me to stop, so I said, alright, let's keep going. This is a savory treat that you beg your parents for but rarely get to eat. The chicken is nicely stewed with Chinese herbs, lotus seeds, and wormwood, which gives it a beautiful aroma. You can eat it on its own or order some noodles to go with it. At the end of every outing with my friends, Circle K is all stop and Froster is our drink. It's pretty much like Slurpee. The last dish that is store bought is soy. My mom bought it, so I'm not sure about the price, but I think this is the price range. And last but not least, Vietnamese people have a strong bond with family and they love gathering. So these are some homemade dishes. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye for now. Tạm biệt.